What's up, guys? Um, I know it's been a while, but um, I have COVID. And, and I'm thinking to myself, wow, do I have to get COVID for me to make a video? <laughs> um, I have uh, four questions. I have four questions that I'm going to ask myself. And yeah. All right, let's get into it. How do you think you got COVID? Um, so I have four roommates, Elias, Ace, and Zena, and me. So out of the four of us, we got only two, out of the four of us, we only two of us got COVID. All of them tested negative. And then once I found, once I found out that I tested positive, um, Zena got tested positive as well um and she didn't come out like i said she didn't come out um positive she came out negative at first but then she started feeling sick and then she got and then she got and then she got really sick and she got covid but how i think i got covid was from my friend edgar but he he never got positive. He had never got positive for COVID. He have, he's always turned out negative. Um, but it could have been from my friend Edgar because his whole family was kind of sick, and and he probably he's probably asymptomatic. asymptomatic so I don't know. We'll see what's up. Um, but yeah, there's that question, and the second question. How do you feel? Um, I can't smell or taste. Um, I feel pretty rock solid. Um, I feel like I can go about my day. I just can't smell or taste. And maybe a slight fever, maybe? I don't know. Um, but overall, I feel great. I just really want to get out there and start working. Um, yeah. Third question, what are you going to do for money? So my rent is almost due. I have money for this month, but I don't know how long I'm going to be in here. So if y'all don't know what Dogecoin is, I'm pulling out of my Dogecoin. Uh, it's crypto. It's like stocks, like Bitcoin and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm pulling out of my Dogecoin, sadly, but I'm not kind of hurt that I'm not because I know nothing about crypto and I, my money is better use for what I'm doing. And I need money. <laughs> so I pulled out like around 2000, I pulled out $2,000. That's how much I had in there. And I probably invested like over $1,600 into there. So basically just getting my money back. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do for money. So, um, And my last question, why am I posting? Um, I realized that if you want to make social media into a career you have to start posting and this is me doing it this is my second attempt yesterday i tried to do this video um <laughs> but it, i failed but i'm definitely gonna post this one for sure um yeah i definitely like i, I got unmotivated posting like when i right now i don't have a job and I couch flip full time and that's what supports me. When I was working, Am like I was working Amazon at the time and couch flipping, I I was posting a lot when I was working a job and couch flipping and I was posting and I was pretty busy. Now I'm not even that busy and I'm not even posting. <laughs> it should have been the other way around, but turns out it didn't turn that way. Um... <clears throat> I just like, I feel like the reason why I stopped, I just didn't see it going anywhere. And 
as I'm spending so much time here at home, quarantine, um, I just been reflecting on like, on my passions, like, hey, nothing's happening right now, but like, that doesn't mean to stop, keep going, because eventually, it's gonna, it's gonna make you money, and you're gonna live off of your, your passions, and that is making music, social media, and couch flipping right now, couch flipping, I feel like I said that really, like, you couldn't understand, um, but yeah, just gotta keep hustling, gotta keep hustling, um, but yeah, those are my questions, uh, I'm gonna do something bonus, something bonus, like, how I got kind of my confidence back, so I was on TikTok today, and Shia LaBeouf, he was talking about how, how, like, when he's acting like he's when he's on set he fall in he falls in love he falls in love with the things that he does on set and he gave an example he's like when i eat ice cream on set i love ice cream but he was like when i eat ice cream when i'm off the set and like real life he said he doesn't like ice cream and i paused the video right there and i was like wait a minute that is a thinker right there. And he was also saying, like, when he, like, he doesn't know what to do other than just act, like, on set. He doesn't know what else to do. And he was like, every time I do something other than acting, I'm just, like, I'm... He's basically saying he doesn't have any other passions. And he wants other passions, but... His acting is just, he's just, I love it. It just turns on the love for things for him. And I was just thinking, and I was like, okay, when you eat ice cream on set, you love it. But in real life, you don't. And then I was like, and I also put down, on set, you have a reason. But in real life, you don't have a reason. So, like, when he's eating the ice cream on set, he has a reason why he's eating the ice cream. But when he's off set, he eats the ice cream. He doesn't care about the ice cream. But since he has a reason, he loves to eat ice cream on set. But when he eats it in real life, he just doesn't have any reason to do it. So, he doesn't like ice cream. So, I was thinking, I was trying to relate that to my life. I was like... Yeah, you're trying YouTube. I mean, you're trying social media and flipping couches and making trying to make music. Like you're doing it, but you're not nothing's happening. Like nothing's happening for me. But I know eventually if I keep working towards social media and making music and couch flipping, I know it's going to benefit me. Like I know it's going to it's going to be worth it doing it. So I just have to keep going at it. Keep going at it because that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. Post on social media, make music, and couch flip. And couch flipping. I know couch flipping is not going to be temporary. Um, well, who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe I make a couch business. I don't know. But these are my passions. I know I could do this. And I know if I keep going... I will make it one day. I know I will. Um, and I was thinking to myself, after saying all that, I was like, man, it's hard to stay motivated. Like, it's hard to remember to stay consistent and to stay on your passions. It's hard to remember that because I get, me personally, I get lost in the sauce I get caught up in all this bull crap and I just lose sight of what I want to do in my life. And then I get into this spiral of like, oh, what do I do? I don't know what I want to do with my life. So it's good to remember that. It's good to remember that if you stay on course, eventually you're going to make it. And 
I rem- like I remember people telling me that if you stay on course, you're going to like you're going to get it eventually. Like I remember that. But I just always get lost in the sauce and and this is cool because that I this is nice that I remember this because now when it, the times get rough, I know what to fall back on. I just keep going. Just keep going cuz you know you want this. You know you want it. Sometimes the process sucks. But the process, you got to love to learn the process. And I've always, speaking about the process, people say love the process, right? I love the process, but sometimes I don't love the process. Um, But the majority of the time I do love the process because I love to win. I love to win. I love the grind. (laughs) But sometimes it gets rough. It gets really rough. Um, to sum up everything, if you love something and you know you want to do this for the rest of your life, go for it. Um, I know I want to like post on social media and make music. Like, I know that's what I want to be doing for the rest of my life. And I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of any, anything else that I would love to do as a job posting on social media and and making music that sounds like a freaking dope job and sometimes building up to that is really hard work so i just gotta keep pushing i gotta keep trucking so what i'm getting at here is would you rather stay on a job for the rest of your life that you don't want Or would you rather do something that you love that you would be down to do in the without that that you would be down to do for a living is the love. ah, I'm sorry. The love that you have for that, whatever it is, like skating, playing music, posting on social media, whatever it is, your passion is. I would strive for it to be your job. What do you got to lose? What do you have to lose? Go for it. Um, I know I said this already to sum up everything. Keep hustling towards the things that you want. Because you know you want it. And sometimes when it gets frustrating, sometimes it gets frustrating, but keep going. Keep going. And as I'm saying this, I'm motivating the crap out of me. Because I need to hear what I'm saying right now. And, uh, but yeah, guys, keep, keep hustling. Deuces, guys.